In today's video, I'm unboxing the Sony A6400. Yes, after two weeks at sea, the camera is finally here with me. Hi guys and welcome to Ben's Guide. If this is your first time on the channel, this is your guide to the best news, reviews and how to's from the world of photography and video. Now today I'm doing an unboxing of the Sony A6400. Why am I unboxing a box? Well, just the other day I witnessed something truly special. My wife's expression changed from a downbeat gloom expression to a joy and absolute ecstasy expression. And all that it took was the unboxing of a new pair of shoes. So I thought if I could just bring even a tiny bit of that joy to the channel with the Sony A6400 unboxing, then it will be a job well done. And it did get me to think, the more products which I receive, I'm going to actually start unboxing some of them so you can see what's inside. Okay, let's jump in to the unboxing. This is the box that the Sony A6400 has arrived in. The big giveaway is the A6400 sign on the box. Now, it's nice to see that the box has arrived in good condition. There's no dents, there's no bumps, there's no scratches. That's always a good sign. Let's have a look at around the other side of the box and uh, we're greeted with what you get with the camera. Should I say the features? So here you can see you have a 24.2 megapixels. You have the ISO from 100 up to 32,000. 11 frames per second, 425 phase detection autofocus points. And then it carries on to talk about the autofocus system, which is very good. Anyway, let's get to what we're all really interested in here. And that's just, just opening the box and having a look what's inside. So open. And then we're greeted with more cardboard. And what's this? More cardboard. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, this is probably my least favourite thing that I like about opening a box, and that's finding the manual. See, I'm not a manual man, and that's going to go to the side. Next thing we have here is a plug. This is obviously going to fit into an adapter, and the adapter is going to connect to your camera and to the wall, and that's going to cause the whole charging process to happen. If we delve in a bit further, we have a strap. Now, I'm not a strap man, but I know that some people love using a strap with their camera, but that's not just me. I will say though, it's a nice velvety feel. So if you are a strap man, that sounds bad, doesn't it? But if you are a strap man, you might like the texture of this strap. Let's put that to the side. Let's delve in a bit deeper and we find ourselves with, uh, I think this is either a European or a US uh, a charger. I'm not quite sure to be honest with you um, But if you know let me know in the comments and let other people know because I'm not quite sure I think that's European or US now of course I'm from the UK, so I get the three Pronged plug. I don't get the two so let's just push that to the side for now and delve in a bit deeper Okay, this could very easily be mistaken for a battery, but this is not a battery. This is actually part of the adapter. So you've got the one side that goes in there, the plug, and you've got the USB which goes into your camera. A bit further in we have the USB. This is a micro to USB here, just the standard one I believe. Uh, yes it is. And of course that's going to connect to the adapter and connect to the camera. Last on the left hand side of the box, or right hand side, whichever angle you're watching this from, is the battery. Now this battery is the same as the battery with the A6300 and the A6400. Now I am going to discuss a few things about this battery, not right now, but in the review which is coming in two days time, maybe three. But it's very interesting because this is the same battery but there is better battery life for the camera. So we're going to talk about that more in detail but let's just put this to the side for one moment. Next, as you can see, I was about to say to the camera, but it's not, it's an eye cup. Now, I really don't care about the eye cup, so I'm just going to throw that to the side. But I do care about the camera, so let's get into the camera. This is the good stuff, and they've made it really difficult to get into. Well done, Sony. But I want the camera, so I'm going to get it. Oh, is that tobacco? 
Now I definitely did not ask for tobacco with this order. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but thanks. I don't know if that's for the aroma or to encourage me to start smoking. Not sure, Sony. But let's just tapity that off right now because I don't want tobacco. And let's pull out the Pierre Resistance. The French will hate me for that because I've just said it wrong. The camera. In fact, let's just get rid of this box now. We don't need that. This is the important stuff. This is what we all care about. The camera. Now, this is the Sony A6400. This is a nice, compact, small, mirrorless camera. When I say compact, obviously you can add your own lenses to it, but it's compact in size. Actually feels nice in the hand. Now, of course, you can see the back is the exactly same as you would experience with the A6300, and for that matter, the A6500 as well. But this is just a nice lightweight filling camera right off the bat and I really do like the feel of it. You've got obviously your standard dial here which switches between your modes. You have your on off switch, you have your other dial here. You've got this little flash which pops up which you're probably not going to use too much. And then of course let's move around to the back. Now this camera has obviously been touted as a vlogging camera and can you see why? What's this? That's a screen. But what's special about this? Sony at last have joined the likes of Canon. I say Canon because pretty much only Canon and maybe Panasonic on one or two cameras have done this. But to get a screen which flips out rather awkwardly like this. Oh, you can now see yourself when using the camera. Now this is gonna be amazing for vloggers. I know vloggers love this kind of thing, myself included. If you've been on the channel for quite a while, you know that I loved vlogging. I still do, I just don't get to do it as much anymore. But that's going to be really useful. So, the one thing about the screen, which is, let's not sure good, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, is the fact that, well, for a start, I could probably flip that up a little bit more, so let's do that, because it looks like I've only got half the screen. It is a bit of an awkward movement, actually, and it bangs on the back, so you have to be careful with that there. But the thing about this screen is it kind of articulates different to what you would experience with the Canon, which flips out to the side, uh, which shouldn't be a big deal, and it, it really isn't. I've seen a lot of things on the forum where people have mentioned that the problem is here, if you put a horseshoe mount on, it's going to cover up your screen, and I can understand that. But there is other things that you can do. You can put a mount on the back or on the side, and then you can have your microphone coming out to the side here. So it's not a deal breaker and there is things in the marketplace to help you get around it. Okay, so let's just flip the screen back for a moment, put that into place. It is a bit tricky, this screen. Maybe it's just because I haven't spent too many time with Sony cameras. But anyway, you've of course got this lens here, which is the 16 through to 50 lens. That's 3.5 through to 5.6. Now this is of course just a kit lens, so you're going to get you know, decent quality, but nothing special. But this is the camera, guys. It, my honest opinion is it feels really nice in the hand. It feels surprisingly small. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting different, as this is the same as the, A6, the A6300 body, let's say that again, and the A6500 body. But yeah, it does feel comfortable, and I do think that if this camera performs as well as it's been touted to, there's a lot of good things to come from this camera. Now, this is just the unboxing video. I don't want to go into any detail about uh, how it performs, switching it on or anything. And the reason for that is because it would spoil my next video. The next video is coming out in the next two days, maybe three, let's hope two. And that video is going to be a review, a full review on this camera right here. Okay guys, so that's the unboxing of the Sony A6400. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you stick around or subscribe, should I say, to the channel so you can see the full review, which will be coming in two, potentially three days time. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.